glad I didn't have to drop a deuce because there was a line of dudes in there ready to go. And I, man, being homeless is hard. It really is. I'm telling you, I think the hardest part about being homeless is get to be. Where do you drop a deuce? Just, if I couldn't walk around with a clean backside at all times, I don't know what I'd do. I'll go on, don't you worry, I'll go back up there. I want to show you guys something first, not this cheesy fucking bar. It's the courtyard. This is one of my favorite places in all of Boston. A beautiful building you can come to. It costs you nothing. Oh, 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 wow, I didn't know there was a fancy schmancy restaurant in there, holy shit, anyway. Now, in the summertime, it's a little different. It's a lot more crowded though, but remember, I had 11.15, this right here, this fountain. Pretty beautiful one, it's when it's on and when that sun is high it comes right over that building right there and it shines right down right here in the middle of this courtyard and here you have this this oasis in a loud in a loud angry city a little bastion of peace the sound of water the sound of feet on stone. The sound of birds fluttering about. And the sound of brains hot at work. I remember sitting right here as a young man. I had gotten out of college. I couldn't get a job. It was during the 2008 recession. I couldn't get a job for forever. I'd come down here with my laptop and I'd, I remember sitting right there beneath that guy's head. And I, I just applying for jobs and figuring out like, hey, I'm done with the school thing. What's next? What is a man, like now that I'm a, I'm a man, what do I do? What do I do with my life? Like, really? I don't know. I don't want, I'm just lost. Just completely lost, just writing down any thought in my head. I tried writing poetry. I tried, I'd sit there and I'd look up Wikipedia pages of famous people. And I'd go, how did these guys get successful? How did they get rich? I'd be like, well, I'll just emulate what they did. Yeah, you know, clearly, since it's been well over a decade since then, I didn't figure it out. <laughs> But, but, still, still a very fond memory. All right, let's get inside. Let's get you inside. I really wish I didn't put that jacket in my backpack. Maybe it'll help me at night. I'm going to see Killers of the Flower Moon, and none of my friends will go with me because. Oh, I don't want to go see a three and a half hour movie. I don't want to see a three and a half hour movie. Shut the fuck up. They'll sit there for three hours on TikTok. Sit there for three hours on Instagram reels, but they won't, won't come with me to see Leonardo DiCaprio in an Indian movie for three hours. Get out of here. Sure, anyway. Oh, man. This is one of the most beautiful buildings in this city. If all my taxes went to shit like this, I wouldn't mind paying taxes. Unfortunately, they go to blowing up little kids. That's a weird fashion. Roar. In a lot of 
a lot of this stuff was built in the 19th century, so we'll see a lot of dedications to Civil War regiments. What's funny is that now that I'm with a Colombian, I can spot Colombian girls from a mile away. So this room was, um, was based off of uh, maybe per the Arthurian legends. Arthurian legends, I want to say. Um, I want to say it was Percival. Hold on, let me double check. I think they got a... Yep, Sir Galahad, his quest for the Holy Grail. Um, this basically outlines his story. Galahad's like, oh, I'm gonna go get that thing for you. So he leaves. He has quite a few adventures along the way. He meets some ladies. Uh, an angel? It's on a boat. Finds that holy grail of some stuff with heaven. And then I'm pretty sure at some point he gets his own kingdom. Let me double check because I'm kind of winging it here. It's been a while since I've been in this room. I don't know you guys at least that much. Let me see. Alright, an angel comes down with the holy grail. It's the first guy. Lancelot or for Galahad, Galahad takes off. Says I'm gonna go I'm gonna go kick some ass, take some names. The knights enter the castle of the Grail. Galahad contemplates his quest over there in the corner. He fights the knights of darkness and the seven deadly sins. Good enemy by the way. The monk gives him the key to the Castle of Maidens. <laughs> oh, 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 Castle of Maidens, huh? Oh, yeah. Maidens welcome, Sir Galahad. Oh, I bet they did. <laughs> so, so Galahad gets married because he's had enough time being a player. It's time to settle down. He weds Blanche, Blanche of Flair. And his return to the Castle of Grail, he manages to break its spell. And he passes from the now peaceful land and a white, a white steed crosses the seas, the city of Cyrus. Comes the king of Cyrus and builds a golden tree. He achieves the grail and his spirit ascends from this earth. You know, I'm telling you, we don't need all these new fancy superhero shows. And you got Sir Galahad. I had to be quiet in here because this Bates Hall is. I would come in here <laughs> when I was an early comedian and I would sit down and I would work on my computer and email bookers and I would write jokes. I would try and write ideas for screenplays. I feel more productive in this room than anywhere. You can, like, look, I understand I've tried working at home, it doesn't work. When I'm around other people that are working, that are being smart, that are using their brains, it feels like, this place feels like a gym for the brain. You know when you walk into one of those gyms where people are like squatting 400 pounds and you go, whoa, this is serious? That's how I feel in here. But I gotta be quiet.
Oh man, when I'm in that place, dude, I feel like I'm in a Harry Potter study hall. It's magical. It is. Really, it's magical. Not only does it feel magical, but it's like. How do I explain this? I'm, I'm so determined to be quiet and studious. You know, those are rooms that you're afraid to find. Down here, they used to have computers that anyone could use, and they'd be like homeless dudes in here, like fucking watching porn. They come in here and they just be jamming out. Oh, no, no, no more. They would just be hardcore watching you. Face masks recommended. How about no? Scotland, oh baby. Uh, Celtic verse, Irish English, Welsh, oh, that's a Celtic section. Um, I found an amazing book here called Death of a Jewish Neighborhood. It explained how um, Boston used to have, Boston's black neighborhoods used to be Jewish. Roxbury met a pen and then the the bankers came and um, basically because the Irish and the Italians couldn't pay off their loans there was uh, there's always a dude snoozing in here um, they couldn't pay off their loans they said there's no we can still make money off them unfortunately the Jews have paid off their loans so we're gonna force them out so we can put black people in their place and get black people in debt and profit off of it. Real scumbag shit. Similar thing happened in Holland. said safe space, you know. Safe place doesn't, like, it's a teen center, right? You're a teen, you want to go, not many, like I said, as a teen, I was afraid to go to the library for how people would call me a pussy. If the library has a sign that says a safe place, do you think that's cool? Do you think teens want to go there? They do get the comfiest chairs in the whole place. Oh, that's a weird tour. Uh, it's just a lady wearing 
a bag on her face. Pictures of a family? I don't know. My only thing that need do needs to box is whoever fucking dressed him. Anyway, I fucking love this place. And it irks me that I don't know. I can't I can't think of any family members or friends I know who come down here. Other, throughout my life, my co-workers, it's just me. And they spent maybe five minutes in this place. You know, I get that you, you wouldn't always come down here. If, you, if you're working full-time, when would you? You know, you're not going to be like, hey, let's spend the weekend at the Copper Library. I guess I've just had a life that gave me the free time. But even when I was young and free, and or when my friends got laid off, what's this little guy doing? I'm about to piss. People just, I don't know, man. I always try to get people to appreciate a library. They've made it more spacious. But they used to have the best comfy seats over there. I sit there and do work. Me and the, um, the homeless guys would sleep. This one, the Anurada the blah blah blah, blah. the uh, Anurada Podwall Golden Collection. I only get the I only get the silver collection myself. One real question is, um, who is coming to the library to rent a Green Day CD? Ancient Aliens, the soundtrack, all right? Who's still rocking a fucking CD player is the better question. Nora Jones? about a happy bitch I thought <laughs> I thought I thought she was getting married and she's like oh no you know I like pussy <laughs> that's when that's when gay meant you know like yeah I'm gay not like you know not the other way <laughs> not that hey, I'm gay you know slightly slightly different <laughs> Oh, Monk? Alright, alright, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to come down here and rent that. <laughs> This, this is new. I don't remember this. Okay, and so then you can eat a lot on Thanksgiving. Cafe? Are we podcasting? GBH? Hey, uh, Jim and Governor, before you go, did Joe Kennedy close enough to take your phone for 60 seconds? Yeah. I'm 
Joe Joe Margaret. Joe Kennedy, how, Kennedy. how the hell are you? Good to talk to you. I'm walking down the street with the guy who got the party for me. Doesn't get much better than that. Right? Why are you doing this, Congressman? Because Jim McGovern's a better human being than I was. <laughs> what is he? Uh, these motherfuckers know. Supposed to be quiet in the library. <laughs> 